night everybody so thank you guys so much for tuning in now that we are done for the most part with the interior i thought we would move on to the exterior uh got a lot of work to do on the mustang on the exterior got rust spots got some dent. that's just bondo the times there all this mess i'm basically going to take this whole front fender off uh also got some gooberness to the hood here i don't know if i'm going to be able to get that out though but for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by taking this front grill off because this is basically held on by zip ties zip tie zip tie no tie. I'm gonna see if I can uh, salvage that, save it, repaint it. All right, if you haven't already, go ahead and do me a favor. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, go ahead and set your bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for following along. This has been so much fun. I love this build. It keeps me motivated to make these videos and get feedback from you guys. Also, so many people have like lent some amazing advice, uh, which has helped a ton. So keep it coming. We all love cars. This is good fun. Maybe you like guitars too. Thanks for following along and let's jump in. and clean it all up because it's gross. Then we'll repaint it, put it back in. So I basically took the hinge latch that I had and have been soaking it in one of my favorite solutions of vapor rust. I use this stuff on everything and you can keep recycling it over and over and over again and it still continues to work. So I basically let this top part sit in overnight and then hit it with some water just to get that solution off and then use compressed air to blow it off so it wouldn't flash rust and it looks awesome. All the rust is gone and then I've got the bottom piece soaking in it right now which man it's already doing a killer job but as you can tell. It was pretty rusty under there, but it's just eating away all that rust, which is awesome. I already took this piece, the top piece of the hinge and repainted it. I used a uh, rust reformer spray from Rust-Oleum, uh, but first I did like a, an etching primer after I got all the rust off and then used this rust reformer spray. It's amazing, I love this stuff. I literally use it on everything. It's, it's I can't even swear enough by it, it's amazing. I also hit this post with it right here, which, Looks really, really good. Um, just the finish on it's amazing. I love it. Uh, I hit it right here too with some of it. It takes about 24 hours to cure. I do like it better than the shiny gloss, but all that said, it looks great. Uh, it just, I love this stuff. It's so good, but I may hit the whole radiator wall with it once I pull everything off. So I really want to get this door back on and get it aligned because I don't want just like dust and all this junk from my shop going in the car that is new on the inside now. In order to get this door back on and aligned, it's sitting there, I need to take off the front panel because I got to be able to get in here and make adjustments. So yeah, so just want to get the door on. Yeah, you know.
Here's what we did with the door. I finally, finally got it. <sighs> it took like two days. It's such a pain. It was really hard because these stupid plates behind here kept falling down and they're really hard to get situated. So what I did is I finally got it in there, put a magnet on the back of it, uh, on the back of that one because it kept falling. And then I was able to move them into place. Also, when I took this panel off, this fender, I noticed that there was some rust here on the cowl and around the cowl. Not bad though, honestly, not bad at all. I was able to just uh, take a, a nylon wheel to it. It came off super easy. I'm gonna hit it with some rust inhibiting paint. After that, I'm going to seam seal it because I have seam sealer left from the inside. I just need to clean things up, that's all. It was just pretty grody down in there. I just kind of scraped it back a little bit to see what I was dealing with. Overall, it's just dirty, that's it. So one thing I like to do when I'm jacking up the car and I'm putting it on jack stands, I make sure everything is solid with the jack stands, right? And then I also go ahead and continue to use my floor jack, but I keep it underneath where I'm supposed to be jacking it up and just slightly touch there. So it's not lifting, it's just there for extra support in case like a jack stand failed or something, it would at least be like a fail safe, so. So with the transmission pan, I ended up painting it with some Dupacolor engine enamel. And the reason I did that is because I wanted it to be able to withstand heat, but I also like the finish. It's like a nice satin, low gloss sheen. So then I'm gonna throw the seal on here like this. We're gonna mount this and Hopefully stop leaking transmission fluid. So that's the goal, right? Let's do it. So check this out. <laughs> I started changing the uh, transmission fluid and filter yesterday evening. And before I went to bed, I was like, oh man, I should have kept the, like the bowl that I had everything in, like the old transmission fluid, I should have kept that underneath because I had painted the transmission seal plate or whatever underneath and I was letting it cure overnight. So I didn't put it all back together, put the new filter on and didn't seal it up. And I came back to this. Fantastic. Just a giant ass puddle of transmission fluid. Fantastic. With the bowl right there. <laughs> and I had this feeling before I went to bed last night that it would leak. And I was like, eh, it'll be fine. I've got a paper towel underneath it. No worries. It leaked a lot. Good times, man. Okay, so a lot's happened in the last few days. I ended up changing the automatic transmission fluid. Realized after I got about four quarts in that it was the wrong transmission fluid. Like, so stupid. You're supposed to use a type F on the Ford uh, C4 transmissions, the old ones pre like 77 or something. I used just a regular automatic transmission fluid. Decided I would then flush the system uh, and by flush, I mean just drain the whole thing. So I drained the pan again, took the pan out, drained the trans lines that went to the radiator cooler. Then from there, I drained the torque converter and got all the old transmission fluid out. After that, I started to refill my transmission, dropped in about four quarts 
and on about four and a half quarts, I started getting a crazy transmission fluid leak. I don't know where it's coming from, like in the top of the transmission or something. So my thought is that I needed to turn the car on, cycle the engine, cycle the transmission, let the fluid flow through because maybe there's just too much in there and it won't feed into the, uh, the system because the car's not on and running. Then I went to turn on the car, couldn't jump it. So anyways, I now can't get the car running to cycle the transmission fluid through and it's just slowly leaking out. So where we are right now, so they took the fender off and I tried to clean up this whole area as much as possible uh, with a wire wheel and all sorts of stuff. Got it pretty clean and then I sprayed uh, a nice coat of Rust-Oleum rust reformer. So I may end up using the Dupacolor engine enamel because that stuff looks amazing, it's great, and it's also high temp. So may use that, may stick with the rust reformer. It's fantastic. I used it on everything and it's pretty solid. Uh, yeah, also finished up this piece as well. So now it's nice and clean and it shuts very smoothly, working wonderfully after a nice bath in the uh, rust remover. So that's kind of where we are. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Set your bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for following along. I'm having so much fun with this. Hopefully we can get the transmission figured out uh, and just continue on with this whole project. So got a lot to do. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Bye.